Seven Lessons Jehovah's Witnesses Should Learn from Tony Morris Buying Whiskey. Let's see what they are. Lesson number one, don't feel guilty if you cannot give money to the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. Don't feel guilty if you can't give money this month or even this year. Because Tony Morris spent $850 just in whiskey. Whiskey, something nobody needs to live, right? He spent $850 in whiskey. Okay, we don't know if it was his own money or if it was donation money, meaning your money. But let's say it was his own money. But why didn't he spend $850 for Jehovah's Organization instead? Or why didn't he decide to buy cheaper whiskey and give the difference to Jehovah? And frankly, if he spent $850 in donations money, your money, to buy whiskey on a Sunday morning, do I really need to tell you what lesson you should learn from that? Well, in case you don't get it, you should never, ever, ever, ever give money to that organization again. Lesson number two. Don't ever feel guilty again if you ever feel like spending some money on yourself instead of the organization. Because that day again, Anthony Morris chose to spend money, $850 of it, on himself and not on the organization. And he is an anointed brother. He's part of the governing body, for gracious sake. And you are really just a number. So please, please, next time you feel like spending money on yourself instead of giving it to this organization that has plenty of it, just do that. That's another good lesson to learn from Anthony Morris buying whiskey. Lesson number three, don't feel so guilty anymore if that Sunday you don't feel like going to the meeting or in service. Because that Sunday morning, 11 a.m., well, Anthony Morris wasn't in service and he wasn't at any meeting. It doesn't mean that he didn't do it later, earlier, I don't know. But the thing is, this is mostly the time where most congregations in most of the countries have their meetings and where the brothers go in service. But Anthony Morris was some 45 miles away from his headquarter buying expensive whiskey. So next time, think of this. Next Sunday when you're going to the meeting and maybe you don't feel like going, remember, if Anthony Morris did it, I can do it. I can miss the meeting and I can go shopping instead. Lesson number four, don't you ever believe that you can get caught even if you're far away from home. Again, Anthony Morris that morning was some 45 miles away from his headquarters thinking he was safe. Unfortunately for him, in that very store was an ex-Jehovah's Witness with his phone. The phone was actually in his car. He went back to the car, grabbed the phone and went back into the store and he did that video that's all over the internet right now. So we know that Jehovah's Witnesses culture is that they can snitch on other Jehovah's Witnesses if they see anything that is suspicious, even if it's nothing wrong really. So let's say you are doing something, and I encourage you to do it, whatever it is, that the organization is forbidding, and you feel like you're safe because you're miles away from your neighborhood, but don't think you are. You may not be as safe as you think. Just like Anthony Morris thought he was safe, but he wasn't, was he? So that's the fourth lesson you should learn. Don't think that you are safe from Jehovah's Witnesses seeing you and snitching on you, even if you are 45, 50 miles away from your neighborhood. Lesson number five, don't be so ignorant as to believe that Armageddon is tomorrow anymore. Because, again, two things. Either Anthony Morris is really a drunk and 12 bottles of whiskey won't last him very long. And in this case, he's got another level of problems. But let's say that he's a normal person. He's just an amateur of whiskey. And if he is, 
Whiskey is not something you drink four times a week, I'm sorry, unless you are addicted to alcohol. Whiskey is a hard liquor, it's not like wine, okay? You don't drink whiskey like four times a week. If you drink whiskey once a week, that's plenty. So 12 bottles of whiskey, if he's not an alcoholic, should last him for years, really. I have a friend in Scotland and she's got also about 12 bottles of whiskey somewhere in her living room. And I went to see her three years ago and then I went again last year. Well, when I went two years later, she pretty much had the same bottles still that she had two years earlier. And those bottles were not even full three years earlier already. So do you see where I'm going here? You can't drink 12 bottles of whiskey fast, okay? If you're not a drunk, that is. If he's a drunk, that's a whole different issue. But if he's not, that means he knows that Armageddon is not coming anytime soon. He's got whiskey for years. He's got whiskey for at least, if he's not a drunk, at the very least for five years right there. So don't you believe like a poor innocent Jehovah's Witness that Armageddon is coming tomorrow because it's not. Anthony Morris is telling you it's not by buying his 12 bottles of whiskey the other day. Lesson number six, know that if you are caught when they're doing something suspicious, you will by no means be treated the same way a governing body member is treated. There is a Jehovah's Witness official letter in response to the behavior of Tony Morris that you can find online. And this is what the letter says. A Jehovah's Witnesses official response unofficially to Bottlegate. And it was a response to the critiques about the behavior of Anthony Morris. And here's what it says. While I appreciate the concern of the brother who witnessed this, I also have some concerns about the assumptions made. Please keep in mind there are a number of circumstances that others may not be aware of. For example, using the purchase in connection with visitors, graduates from Gilead, and the branch community school. Also, over what period of time will these bottles be used? As far as dedicated funds, some of our brothers had businesses prior to coming to Bethel. I will not get too personal on Brother Morris's circumstances in that regard. It does point out that our dear brothers are theatrical spectacle. So please assume the best of our dear brother. Thank you. But if you were caught, believe you me, if you were caught, as a rank-and-file Jehovah's Witness, buying 12 bottles of whiskey somewhere, anywhere, anytime, you will not, you would not be given the benefit of the doubt. You will have, at the very least, a little talk with the elders. So remember that. What the governing body members do and what you do, it's not the same thing. It will not be treated in the same manner. And finally, number seven, don't you feel guilty ever again if you don't feel like giving a witness, an informal witness at school or at work? Because Anthony Morris, as it was pointed out from someone in my Facebook group, in my XJW Facebook group, someone said, you know, there is something nobody talked about that I noticed. And I said, yeah, you know what? I've noticed it too. And I'll be sure to mention it in my next video. Tony Morris didn't give a witness to anyone in that store, did he? Even though that ex-Jehovah's Witness spoke to him and told him that he was also a whiskey amateur and asked him for advice. Did Tony Morris took advantage of that moment, took advantage of the fact that we are in memorial time to give him a track? to do something to witness about Jehovah God? No, he did not. So don't you feel guilty ever again if you are anywhere not wanting to witness about Jehovah because your own 
governing body member Tony Morris didn't either. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, subscribe, share it, comment. And as always, I see you on my next video. Bye-bye now.